going to talk about the split column feature in InDesign. This video goes along with the span column video, and it's a good idea to watch both. So I have an article here on my screen, and I want to let the title and subtitle stretch across the top, but the article is to look like they're in columns. And it's always a good practice to, to use as few text boxes as possible. This just helps you keep consistent with spacing and alignment. Overall, generally simplifies what you have to do. So I'm going to look at the styles I have set up. I have this style here for the body text, just font size, a little space after. And similarly here, font size and style with my title and subtitle. So there's not really anything special in those paragraph styles yet. So the change happens with this body text style. I want this to look like it's in multiple columns. So I'm going to situate this over here so we can see this as we work. So I'm going to double click over here on my body text style. And also make sure that you're clipped somewhere in a paragraph with that style. Otherwise, you'll accidentally apply your style to whatever, wherever your cursor is. So I'll double click over here. Here's my paragraph style options window. The weird thing about split columns is it's a hidden under span columns. So I'm going to click on span columns. And from the paragraph layout menu, I'll choose split. And because I have the preview box checked, we can see this happening immediately. So I could increase this to three columns. I can increase the gutter size just like I could if I were making my text box have columns. And we can also ask it to insert some extra space. So in the layout I have now, this really isn't going to be visible because I only have this one sort of set of article pieces together. If this were a big layout for a whole newspaper page, then this would add some space on either side. So I'll click OK and you can see my text box still doesn't have columns in it but the split columns is just a feature of the paragraph style and kind of makes temporary columns. So that's how to do split columns in InDesign.